What is up everybody, Wally over here and today I'm going to be coming uh, the Red Hood. So what I got here is a piece of craft foam, leftover craft foam that my wife used to make some hearts and we're gonna be making our uh, emblem out of this. So I'm just gonna do a very uh, rough sketch of what the bat signal is going to look like now in the past for this costume i actually made one and it looked like the dark knight um bat signal from um uh, the christopher nolan movie but i want to go in a different route for this time and see what we'll end up with and hopefully i'm gonna dig it yeah so i got here my el tigre gloves and they're El Tigre Gloves because of the stars. I'm gonna be using these. Then Red Hood has a, a, a body vest, which I own one. In my other video, I made one of these. And this is the actual one that you could buy on eBay. This one cost me $65 at the time. It was a couple of years ago. But man, this thing is sweet. Let's get in closer. So it has all these little details. Of course, the things to uh, hook things, but what I really like about these is these clips. These clips look dope. That's what I really like about this. Then it has uh, shoulder straps, which you can adjust depending on your height and so on. So this is what I've been wanting to show for quite a while. I had this for a while and uh, someone said that I should uh, give props to whoever made this and I don't really know what it is or the name of it. And um, let me know what the name of this vest is so I can put it in my uh, description so people don't feel bad or I don't get sued or whatever. Anyways, this is the one that I made in my other video. And this is the camo version of it. When I did this one, I already had the other one, but I didn't really uh, look at reference from that one because I actually did this one while I was at work during my breaks. And um, this is what both of them look like together. It's actually pretty close on on um, the way the shapes are made. I did this one freehand and then this is the original one. Get closer to the light. And this is actually the first time in two years that I compare both of them. Obviously this looks better, but this one only cost me like $5 to build, while this one was like $65 plus shipping. But yeah, that's that. Moving on. Okay, so for the pants, I'm gonna be using um, these black jeans, these black skinny jeans. And I also have these in green, which I would also be using. Now, I also got these, uh, this, these are uh, guards, these leg guards knee guards, shin guards, whatever you want to call them and I guess these are for baseball probably I don't know simple black thermal shirt no because the suit isn't hot enough on its own I also have a gun holster now I have two of these but both of them are right-handed so I might as well just use one and this is an actual official one I don't know I bought it on eBay like many many years ago okay so putting on the shirt for costume number one and this is gonna be the base for the first and the second one and please do not mind the belly i know cosplay is for all shapes and sizes and today i am going to be a short fat version of mr red hood aka uh what is his name again jason todd so these are the 
shin guards which i got at a thrift store probably like for three four dollars or so and that is an awesome price to pay for them and these are not the same ones that i use for el tigre these are a lot bigger in size and i was planning them to use them for django but now it's good of time than any other to be rocking them moving on to the bulletproof vest now usually the red hood has one that has his abs drawn onto it but the one that i'm using is one that i've seen people use for like fan films and so which they usually use for uh, the Red Hood or Slade Wilson. And this is more military-like, which is something that I prefer. Now let's put on the holster, the gun holster, into my thigh. But I'm having a bit of a problem putting it on since it's feeling pretty tight. And I'm just going to skip that part. Now onto the logo that I cut on earlier. And usually I will put it down here, but it looks too low. So bringing it up would probably be the best part but it would also be hiding those things but since it's just for show i won't take it too far then we have the head cover which now i feel like a ninja pretty nice the only thing that my hair is pretty long so it kind of sticks out a lot and putting on the gloves and finally what gives it the red hood it's red hood name it's it's helmet now don't mind my helmet because it's missing actually an eye uh, an eyepiece which i lost and i have not been able to found and well we're, we're looking at costume number one so this is very reminiscent of this um fan film called red hood legacy if you haven't seen it probably check it out on youtube i'm not sp and so far i am digging the costume feels pretty good now the thing about this bulletproof vest is that this part right here actually hurts your neck every time you try to look down so not the greatest but other than that it does feel pretty comfortable to move around in it's not as stiff as it looks the hooks however look pretty cool but they are really hard to get to so what can you do about it other than that this costume feels good it feels great i like it i'm digging it and it only took me two or three years to put this costume together now this costume is really really hot so it gets hot to breathe in now this costume also comes with a leather jacket but oh yeah that's not gonna work with this vest on so now we're gonna go into costume number two and costume number two is just basically the leather jacket on top of it now this leather jacket i got at uh forever 21 and it was around 29 30 dollars i can't quite remember it was a while ago but i really like this jacket it really goes into what red hood wears and it's sweet it feels great i love it and especially because you know uh it's really hard for me to find leather jackets with my height so now preparing for costume number three so i'm gonna be wearing this white shirt and i'm gonna be sticking the logo onto it this is the same logo we've been using since the beginning if you remember this is actually my white shirt and red hoodie from uh my pokemon cosplay and now we're going to be turning into the red hood this right here it's my leather jacket which i painted on myself it was a full black leather jacket and i painted it with white paint just regular white paint on top and also red paint now take a look at this this is from the the video games um red hood and i am digging the hood now he actually finally does have a red hood now it makes sense <laughs> anyways i hope you guys like this costume and i know some of you are probably wondering why is there a christmas tree in the back well my wife likes to celebrate christmas early 
So let me know what you guys think about this costume. Which one of the three was your favorite? Now, this costume I really, really like. I feel like I am the video game character right now. And I honestly uh, really, really like how all these costumes came out. Basically, it's just one costume, just different props on it. But it feels sweet. It feels good. I like it. Now, I wish I had my other eye lens so I could look more the part. And I didn't really talk about the helmet. If you want to know about the helmet, then just watch my other video where I go into detail about it. Which I think it's called um, review, um, Revealing All My Masks. Woof! That's what is hot. Okay, so what I want to show you next is the guns. So this is a toy gun, plastic, and it's missing its thinking machine, which I think I bought this gun at a uh, uh, Dollar General. And it doesn't really do anything, it's just a regular uh, one and it's kind of small. But then I also bought this one. This one's really nice. This one's bigger. And it's actually missing uh, one other piece here. And what I like about this gun is that it expands. So you know when you have it on the thing right here. So it gives you a feel. Now comparing both of them. You see how one it's bigger than the other one. Now what I also like about this gun is that it, it actually uh, is a pretty cool gun where you can slide this off and uh, slide this off. Now you got a pistol. So that's pretty cool. So it also came with a light which burned out, but it, it gives you like a little blue light. And it probably has a, a top piece as well, but. I bought this a couple years ago. I actually did a video on it when I actually got it, but I was not able to upload it for some reason. Yeah. That's that. Pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know which uh, one of the three was your favorite costume and uh give it a thumbs up thank you see you guys in my next video